All right, go ahead and press your shoulders out. You're in a puff. There you go, load it up. You can slowly start to raise your hips to get the bow flat, but keep it smooth. All right, shoulders in just a touch. Trim just a little bit. There you go. We're gonna take this all the way to the wall. Watch your telltales. About every five to eight seconds, you wanna look at those telltales and make sure you're not pinching. Make sure they're streaming. Nope, keep your back pressed against the rail. Just slide your hips down if you need to, if you're healing too much to windward. There you go, there's your puff. There you go, stretch, shoulders, good. All right, take it all the way to the dock and then bring it on starboard, okay? We'll do it starboard tack sprint at that point. There we go. Just get comfortable, don't move around a lot, okay? Slide forward, it's your hips forward. Now stretch your upper body, shoulders out. Shoulders out, there you go, to flatten the boat in the puffs. We wanna keep our weight nice and compressed like that. Weight forward, flat water. Now you're just reading telltales and playing the sheet, okay, based on pressure. Just keep an eye on those telltales about every, there you go, too much. About every five seconds, just do a glance and then look at the pressure in front of you so you know where to put your shoulders. Slide in a little bit. Focus. Good. Okay, watch the telltales, watch the pressure in front of you. See that puff coming down? Good. Hey, hang on to the tiller extension. Yeah, about mid grip. Good. Good, now we're just doing it with our shoulders in and out. We're keeping pressed against the rail. Good, weight is consolidated. Don't sit on the bulkhead. Do not sit on the bulkhead. There you go, keep it right there. You can just drop a knee. Okay, shoulders out a little bit. Shoulders out. Squeeze it down, good. All right, go to the dock and then you can tack. Right, here we are with William Wise. He needs a little sprit on. Fix that next time we go upwind. There you go, press your back up against the rail, good. Slide your hips forward if you can, but don't sit on the bulkhead. When you need to come in, you just drop that left knee down just a little bit. Shoulders out, you got a puff. Swivel your hips forward just a little bit. Should be pressed right up against the bulkhead. Watch your telltales. Look where you're pointing, bud. Look at those outside telltales. Ease a little bit. Ease a touch. Ease. There you go. We need to put some spread on after this drill, okay? All good. Just don't stall the sail out with your sheet. We want it right over the corner, maybe slightly inside. Watch the telltales on the outside. You can head up. Glance at your telltales every five seconds as well as your wind indicator. It's shifty in here. So that's the most important thing. Shoulders, trim, and driving. Good, you got a little puff coming and then it's gonna get light. Watch your telltales. All right, go ahead and just get your knees together. Trim in a little bit, you got a puff now, so don't worry about the sprit. Trim, trim to the corner. There you go. Don't worry about the sprit, we'll fix it next time. Shoulders out a little bit, lower back against the rail, there you go. Now we're just gonna play with the heel with your top with your top top of your torso, your shoulders. Lock it in on the rail with your lower back. Good. Now look ahead after this pressure when you need to slide back in. Yeah, we gotta tighten that spread. 
Good, we're getting lefties here. That's okay, just try to hold your lane as much as you can. You're rowing. Good form. Needs a little bit of sprint in this pub. It's okay though. Not a variable pressure here. Let's transition to the rail. Let's see how he does when he slides in. Good focus on your telltales. Keep an eye on the pressure. You got a little puff coming, micro puff, and then a lull. Remember to keep it smooth with your uh, hips in and out of the boat. Keep it real smooth as you slide in. Okay, you're hunching over a little bit, so I didn't slide. Well, wait for the shift. Slide down a little bit, just slide down a little bit and shoulders out. Put a little more pressure on your lower back to the rail. Good connection there. Now it's just feeling with your shoulders and with the trim. And steering is with the telltales. Good, slide down, shoulders out just a little bit. Slide down and shoulders out, slide in. You can even drop your right knee just a touch. There, now shoulders out. Ease just a touch. You're in a lull. So your trim is totally relative to how where your hips are on the show, on the uh, on the rail. Okay? When you're pressing that rail a little harder, we can go a little harder on the trim. You're going to feel it load up here. Excellent form. Dirty air. Okay, when you have some pressure here, we're gonna tack in a minute. On starboard tack, I want you to get in the pressure. You're gonna have a lot of pressure here coming down from over here. Once we get on that new tack, I want you to lock your lower back up against the rail and let's do the flattening with the shoulders, okay? When you feel that load up, you stretch your shoulders out, you trim a little bit, when you feel it soften up, you slide down in like you are now, but let's try to keep our back up against the rail. Good. Good, now we're just gonna do an in and out transition with our shoulders, but keep that lower back pressed against the rail. You're tied into the boat now, okay? Your stance has everything to do with this. Try taking your tiller extension and go mid grip. Bring it down, there you go. Here's your puff. See your puff? It's a lefty. Keep heading down. Wait for the puff to come. Here it comes. Okay, remember shoulders back on the uh, rail. Or sorry, lower back on the rail. Press it, and I'll trim. Don't pinch. Good. Trim. Shoulders. Stretch. Good, press it down. And then it's a simple slide up to the rail when it's time. Keep pressing that rail though. All the way through this puff. That's it, stay locked in. Good, read your telltales. Make sure you don't have a funky header coming. There it is, there's your lefty. Stay with it. Okay, just glance upwind and look at the other pressure coming down the channel here. Keep that rail pressed on the, keep that lower back pressed on the rail, good. Excellent, excellent. Good transition up, come on, it's a header. Good, trim a little bit. 
Take it easy on the trim, okay? Nice and smooth. No big jerks at all. We don't want that sail or that leech to be disrupted. Good, shoulders out. Right there. You are locked in. You got another pressure line coming. Miles, board up, buddy, board up. Board up to the second sail tie. If you have trouble with that, we're gonna mark it with a Sharpie. Check that pressure. Don't pinch, you can roll. This is why we need separation on the fall of the leader start. We gotta work together here. We need at least four boat lengths. It's too shifty, too puffy. To keep everybody on the same ladder run. gonna go to work on each kid here for speed all right go ahead and press your shoulders out a little bit focus on those telltales and the pressure in front of you the shoulders and the trim come naturally that's all on feel you need to use your eyes though to look at the pressure and your telltales there you go shoulders out a little bit press it down not too much easy on the shoulders we're doing nice micro movements here. Don't worry about that sprit. We'll tighten it up in just a minute if the breeze holds. Good, now you're on point. The rest is just feel the pressure, okay? When you feel like you're slowing down, foot just a little bit. Ease your main sheet like less than an inch just to let the pressure off. When you feel your shoulders going out to flatten, just a couple clicks. Good. Stay focused on your telltales. It's going to get shifty with this pressure coming down. Good on the tram. Maybe ease just a touch until that pressure fills in. That a boy. Okay, tram just a little bit and head up, head up. Head up, there you go, right there. Bring your tiller extension arm down a little bit. Relax that arm a little bit, there you go. Now trim, trim, you got pressure, good. Now shoulders out just a little bit, just push that rail. Nope, nope, don't change. Don't lean on the bulkhead, okay, sit up. Look how fast you're going, dude. Now feel this, okay? Stay with it. Look at your telltales. Keep an eye on the pressure. You got more coming. Trim. There you go. Stay up. Nice, Miles. Nice. Okay, don't pinch. 
There you go, you can trim just a touch. Just a touch, just a couple clicks. Okay, read the pressure. You see guys, see that pressure up ahead of us? We gotta get to it. Ease, ease, just over the corner. Just over the corner. There you go, now watch your telltales and your wind indicator. You can head up. You can head up, get that backside telltale lifting. Look at your wind indicators, guys, while it's light. Some of you are heading too low. Miles, head up. Head up. Look at the boats around you. The boats around you are the biggest wind indicator out here. Keep an eye on those telltales. Now you got pressure. You're going right into this puff coming down. Start trimming, start trimming. There, get ready to press your shoulders as you enter the puff. We don't know what direction it's gonna be. Look at your wind indicator, look, you're reaching. Head up, just be careful, it might be a big righty coming, that's too far. There you go. Okay, look at that boat just to your left, start off your uh, port bow. He's headed down, so expect a righty here. All right, you're in the pressure. Good on the trim. We just don't want to hunch over our shoulders, over our hips, okay? If we've got enough pressure to hold that rig out and set that sail, we want to stay locked to, with our lower body, or sorry, lower back on the rail. We just don't want to heel to windward too much. We can get away with about five degrees. That's fast in this flat water. We just don't want to stall out. Okay, there's your pressure again. Focus on telltales. Now your upper body, good, transition, nice. Good press there, you got more breeze coming. Look up there about five boat lengths. If you feel it stalling out like it is now, just ease a little bit, ease a little bit. And let's go fast in that next puff. That's the goal here, we're connecting dots. Good, nice job. Nice and fluid, it gets easier. The more you feel this boat, you got your technique down, the easier it gets. And the more you can focus on what's going on in front of you. There we go. Now we're back in the pressure. All right. Remember to keep your white board down. You need to start trimming and then jibe. Grab the whole thing. Okay. Stay in the boat, in the boat. Turn the boat now. That's all right. Good, remember make your approach a little wider so you don't have to do a big, huge hairpin turn with a lot of rudder. Down in the boat. Check your sprint now. Good, pressure off, nice smooth. Okay, trim, look at your telltales. All right, Miles, keep it wide, keep it wide. That boat doesn't have an overlap. You're three boat lengths now, you're good. Jive, jive, pull the whole thing over. Say no room, turn the boat. Okay, nice and easy on the trim, head up, Miles. Head up, head up, head up. It's okay, buddy, it's all right. Jive, you gotta jive.
That's it, keep it wide. Now focus on your hand over hand trimming. Good, knees forward. Okay, you're in a puff, you can stay on the rail. Hips in a little bit, shoulders out. Hips in, shoulders out. Hips in. Good, keep your weight forward. Nice. That's it. Excellent rounding. Accelerate. Three, three, seven, six, eight, one. All right. Seven. No speed, guys, no speed. We got to start accelerating at seven to five seconds. Okay, drag race start. Tacks. Just speed. Okay, drag race start. Inch becomes boat links. fluid with this this chop here that's got a little bit of a pattern to it it's not too erratic it's good keep everything smooth not too choppy on the rudder and keep the rig as vertical as we can boat not pitching too much. Remember in the pressure, just a little bit of trim, couple clicks. Don't stall out. If you feel like you're stalling, just load it back up by easing. There you go. Go a little hips in. Hips in slightly, shoulders out. There you go, connect yourself. Good. And then drive those telltales, okay? Stay on top of those telltales. Okay, our sail is set up really deep. Okay, a little more trim. There you go. Patrick, I want you to ease your outhaul just a touch when we reset. Just keep fighting here. You got good speed. She's just going a little bit quicker and a little bit higher. She's a little more powered up than you are. Good. Watch those telltales. We don't want to pinch in this stuff. We want to keep it driving. 
little too lumpy for that. Good. Keep your eyes on the road. And then make sure you glance at those telltales about every three to five seconds, just to make sure we're good. Make sure you got the flow. I like your sail. It's really deep for this job. You're powered up for your size. You're moving quick. This is obviously a practice sail, right? Yeah, it's looking a little, uh, a little lumpy in certain areas. I think you got a rip just above the, uh, the first uh, seam there, right behind the uh, window. It's not gonna be an issue today, really. Thankfully it's your practice sail, but I think it, back on shore, I've got some sail repair tape, okay? We can just put some on there and make that thing last a little longer. All right, good job. Keep it up, stay focused. Well done. There you go, and press your shoulders out. Right there. A couple degrees of heel is fine. Boat goes a little smoother through the chop like this. We're not in super flat water at all, like yesterday. So we want to keep some connection to the rail. Pressure on your feet. Then we'll start getting into a rhythm with our uh, upper body. Good, trim a little bit in the pressure, just a touch. Good. You got great depth on your outhaul. That's the max though. If the water flattens out a little bit or it starts getting breezier, we can tighten that out haul first, okay? And then we'll work on your luff, but your luff looks good. You might need a touch of sprit when we reset, just a little bit. Good job with the rudder. We're just guiding that rudder, okay? We're not forcing it in this stuff. Keep it fluid. A light hand grip, just enough to hold it, but keep your right arm relaxed, okay? Well done, keep feeling the boat. Doing great with your upper body. Just watch for the puffs in front of you. Keep an eye on those telltales. Make sure you're on point, good flow and then start looking at the pressure changes. That's how you uh, adjust your upper body, okay? Press when we need to. Nice job. All right. Sail looks really good on the out haul. Nice and deep for this chop. You're probably gonna need a touch more spread, just a little bit, okay? Just to take that top wrinkle out. But it looks pretty good. You're going really fast. Nice elevated hips, good connection to the rail. You've been trained. Good form. Go ahead and just stretch those shoulders a little bit, maybe slide up just a touch. Get the rail a little lower on your back. You got some pressure coming, so you need to be ready for it. There you go. Come on up just a touch more. There you go, good. Very nice on the rudder. Remember to keep kind of a semi-loose grip, just enough to hold it. Don't tighten your right arm. So you force the rudder, you're doing a great job, not oversteering at all. Good, good, go ahead and when you're, when you're starting to go up that wave, just go ahead and push those shoulders a little harder. Try to keep the boat from rolling from the wave. Real nice, super smooth. Good, go ahead and press the rail a little bit more, shoulders out, slide up just a little bit. You got more pressure here, there you go. Really nice, super smooth. She is ripping. Go ahead and trim just a little bit now. Yeah, she's been out cheated a little too far. 
There you go. Maybe a touch more. Just a touch. There you go. Now go ahead and press that rail. You've loaded it up. Try coming up to the rail. You know, just uh, bottom, or top of your hips, kind of inside, tucked in. Now shoulders out just a little bit. Good, get your feet locked in. Lower your hips on the rail a little bit. Actually, no, you're loaded up. Go ahead and shoulders out. Good. Give your body a little break from that, uh, that press position. Good. Again, we'll throw some spread on Patrick once we reset, okay? There you go, lock it in. Out haul looks great. Now we're going fast. Go ahead and shoulders out now. Watch these wave sets. You want to get a little shoulders out, a little bit back as your bow's starting to go up. Okay, don't let the boat roll. There we go, don't pinch. Right now we're really just doing slight steering. Micro trimming with your shoulders and with the sheet. Good. Good, now you're starting to pull your shoulders back a little bit. Keep that connection with your hips, with the floor. Good. Okay, good sail shape here. Pretty deep. That's it, go ahead and press your shoulders harder. If you got to, slide your hips up. Good connection. Go ahead and trim when you're stretching like that. Good. You can trim, you can micro trim in until you feel it starting to stall a little bit. And then just ease it back out to repower up. Okay, but when you feel your speed going down and you don't have any pressure changes, that might be trim, okay? Good feel. About every 10, 15 seconds, take a look over your uh, boom real quick. Just double check where your boom is centered on the corner. Or just inside the corner. Then get back to the telltales and reading the pressure. And waves. Good. Good stretch there. Okay, you may have to do a little bit more steering once we get into this bigger chop, okay? You're doing a great job of keeping that rudder fluid. How does it feel? Do you feel any pressure on it? Or does it feel pretty neutral? Neutral, that's good. So a light grip on the tiller extension. Just don't let it slide, but keep your uh, right arm relaxed, okay? That way you don't over trim or over steer. Nice. We've had a little righty here. That's why those guys are uh, extending on you. There you go. Go ahead and press your shoulders a little more. Shoulders out. Yep. There you go. Good. You can always come in with that knee drop down there pretty easily. It's an easy uh, transition to the rail when the breeze comes up. Good depth on the outhaul. Maybe a little more sprint, just a touch. We are in probably about nine, 
10 knots of breeze. Just enough for a few people to be on the rail, and some people to be pressing the rail. Probably uh, with this job, maybe seeing 12. At best, we'll take a wind reading, but pretty normal chop for Galveston. Okay. and that's it good uh, good gear change by dropping it down for these uh, these waves here that are coming just once you get through it it flattens out trim in not too fast not too hard just make it micro movements trim back in and then get back on point good gear changing you're going fast hey stop pinching over here okay watch your telltales you're getting rolled. There you go. Just make sure you're locked in when you have those, uh, when you make those movements. You got two connection points. Your feet and your knee on the bulkhead. It's good torquing there and some of those waves, just gotta make sure our timing is good. Okay, another big wave. Out. Shoulders out a little bit. There you go, right there. Now, once you're connected with your lower back, you can actually torque it back, just your shoulders back. When you want to pitch that boat up. Good. All right. Hey, let's not pinch in this chop, okay? Keep it loaded up, low gear, until you get good flow on the sail. Don't sit on the bulkhead, okay? Just. Slightly back, keep your left leg right up against the bulkhead, but you can drop your right knee down like you've just done. Now, press your shoulders and trim just a little bit. Trim, good, right there. When you feel it load up, shoulders out. Watch your telltales though. Your eyes need to be kind of glued on your telltales, just looking ahead at the pressure. Every three or four seconds, you need to be on those telltales. It's too lumpy out here. Yesterday, it was shifty and lots of pressure changes. Today, it's a little more steady on the velocity and the shifts. But you got waves here, okay? And you're doing a little bit more active steering through the waves, so you got to keep your, uh, your telltales flowing. Good form right there. Good connection. That's it. When it loads up, press your shoulders out. Maybe lift your hips a little bit. All right, here we are with. Go fast. All right, let's go ahead and just put your knees together. Don't pinch. Watch those telltales. First and foremost, we need to open your outhaul a little bit too. You're a little flat. We'll do that on the reset, okay? We're gonna ease your outhaul, probably about an inch. But you need to drive to those telltales, okay? And then we'll talk through the body mechanics here. Keep driving those telltales. All right, now I want you to put your shoulders out just a little bit. Drop your right knee down just a little bit. There you go. You're a little more connected to the boat now. Go ahead and trim just a little bit, a couple clicks. Another click of trim. Yeah, he needs about an inch of outhaul. Off. Just to power that sail up. Maybe a touch of sprit too. Good, I like the overlap with your left knee. 
Angled forward, just slightly over the bulkhead. It's another connection point. Just keep driving to those telltales. When you feel it, okay, you can head up. Okay, but you need to ease off. You just hit a bunch of lump here, so ease just a little bit over the corner. A little more, right there, okay? When you get the pressure back and you start extending those shoulders, then you just a couple clicks in, okay? Just subtle. But you gotta feel the boat actually uh, load up. Okay, now we're starting to get back up to speed here. Watch those telltales. Good, maybe trim in just a touch, couple clicks. There you go. Good, stay focused on the telltales. I know it's a lot of work. A lot of focus and concentration here, but that's what speed's all about. Good, your rudder's working well. Keep it fluid, not choppy. Not too bad. All right, 032, I want you to attack and get a clear lane once he rolls you, okay? Go ahead and just foot off and then do attack, all right? Foot off. Hey, bear away. Bear away. Bear away. Bear away. Go, big bear away. Ease. Now attack and go behind him. Attack and go behind him. Good, now just go a little ways. Come on, knees together, slide forward, get back into that down position, there you go. And then get ready to attack and come back. All right, your lane's clear. Let's do a little bit of better roll, but that's okay. Slide forward, and let's get going again, okay? All right, go ahead and press your shoulders. Don't put that left elbow on the rail, okay? Yes. too easy when you're sitting on the bulkhead or you got your elbows on the rail to get complacent and stop working. Keep that tiller extension. Keep that arm relaxed. You can lock it in if you want on your body, but just keep a looser grip, okay? Not to the point where you're going to let go of the tiller extension or it's going to slip out of your hand, but don't tighten your right arm, okay? Keep it nice and smooth. All right, read your telltales, okay? Don't let that inside one kick too hard, okay? That's the thing that'll stall you out quicker than anything else. You know, body mechanics are one thing, and that's great, but it's our trim and our steering and this lumpy stuff that matters the most. All right, gonna be tough to speed test with this type of sail. Looks like a club sail. That's okay. We'll see if we can get the mechanics down with the body and the trimming and the steering. The sail's only gonna go so fast, but got good depth in the uh, outhaul. Sprit looks fine. Not too tight. In the lulls, it doesn't all right, remember foot off a little bit. You gotta go, you gotta go down a gear, okay? Just to get through the chop. Just foot down a little bit. Read those telltales. All right, so he's got his right knee just overlapped with the, he's a big boy, so he's got his right knee overlapped with the uh, bulkhead. Keep the weight forward, hips are up against the bulkhead. I think he's sitting on the backs of his heels there for the most part. His calves. That's the thing with uh, bigger sailors is they gotta they gotta find that balance between staying compressed in the boat, still being fluid with the upper body, and then being able to manage the flexibility of the joints. Um, it's tough. It 
it's it's not an easy thing in this boat, but he seems to be all right. He's hanging in his own with the majority of the fleet. So I think even on this practice sail, he needs another set of telltales up on the uh, up on the panel just below the sprit there. Um, you know, just another set right above that top set of tail sail ties. That will help uh, read the flow with the upper part of the sail. Um, good trimming. Um, we got to work a little bit on the micro trimming just to feel. Can you drop your uh, tiller extension down a little bit? No, in front of you. In front of you. There you go. I know it's really easy to have control over the universal there. But keep a kind of a loose grip so you don't tight over tighten your uh, left elbow there, okay? Keep your forearm and your bicep fairly loose, a decent grip so it doesn't slip out of your hand, but then we just want to be fluid with the rudder right now, okay? Don't force it. Just guide it and make sure your telltales are flowing, okay? The rest the micro trimming and your upper body will do it with the puffs, okay? At good speed. For what he's working with, he's got good speed. Um, I'd like to see him tuck his hips in a little bit, but he's kind of getting close to healing to windward. Do you think you could slide your hips in just a little bit? Stay, keep that same, yeah, there we go. Now, yeah, go ahead and slide a little bit more, press that daggerboard truck, just a little more with your knees. Don't sit on the bulkhead, but now I wanna just bring your shoulders back a little bit. There you go. With keeping your hips forward. Keep that tiller extension a little bit lower. Keep that tiller extension lower, there you go. Just guide it. I mean, you adjust your grip to where you have the best control of the rudder without forcing it. Everybody's a little different on that front, but that's good form right there. Now the rest you're just gonna do with your shoulders out and your shoulders back, okay? Oh my God, that looks good, dude. That is much better. You're not healing to windward now. I want you to remember this position, okay? So when we tack up, I want to try to try to get you back into that form. This is good. This is really good. Boat just speed, sped up just a little bit. He's got good focus. Just stay on top of those tiller or those telltales. All right, what I want you to do is tack out and get clear lane, okay? Just tack, sail for about 30 seconds. Get yourself over here. Don't slam dunk this guy over here. But just go behind his stern. Get yourself about 10 boat lengths away and then come on back, okay? Now we have a clear lane to sail. Here we are with Caroline. We just did a little uh, body adjustment where her hips are now up against the bulkhead and the wall of the cockpit. Her lower back is pressed up against the rail. She trimmed a little harder, she dropped her left knee down just a little bit. Are you comfortable with your grip on the tiller extension? Yes. Okay. You can go, you can choke up a little bit more to mid grip if you, uh, you want to get your arm a little closer and relax your arm. I don't want the rudder getting crazy on you, so drop your tilt, your hand down a little bit. You you hold it where you like to. This is I'm not going to get nitpicky on that. But what I want you to do is keep that left arm a little more relaxed, okay? So that you're not forcing the rudder. There we go. We're just guiding the rudder and we're keeping those telltales flowing. Okay, there's the form I'm talking about. Okay, we're in a lull, so go ahead and just ease a touch. Ease a touch. There, not too much. We still want to keep it fairly close to the corner. Just want to foot down just a little bit. 
once we get the speed back and you feel it loading up, then with the apparent wind, we can just trim a couple clicks, nice and smooth, and bring it right back up where the telltales are flowing. No idea what that is. Again, this is great form. It really connects with the bow. Getting a little bit of a lefty here. Let's just put this in light, dirty air. Caroline, what do you weigh? Sorry? What do you weigh? Uh, Keep focusing. Pounds. What's that? About 80, 85 pounds. Oh, that's magical. That's a good weight. Make sure you're on the breeze, okay? You're footing a lot. And remember, when I ask you questions, you don't have to look at me. Keep focusing, okay? There you go. Now you're in clear air again, okay? I think he's Patrick's pinching too much up there. There you go. Keep it fast forward. Now you can trim. You're back into the pressure. You feel it loading up? Okay, you got some wave sets here. Make sure you're not footing too much. That outside telltale's flowing straight back. Good, now it's just a constant feeling of the pressure, okay? Feeling the boat load up, trim, shoulders out, and then when it feels like you're kinda losing that pressure and losing that load on the boat, we just ease a little bit as we bring our shoulders in, okay? That's what we wanna focus on. Once we feel good about that, then we can think about other things on the race course, okay? That's why we're doing so much time with this right now, is to get everybody into that muscle memory mode. Great job, Caroline. Super fast. She's good. Big wave. That's it, maybe foot off just a touch. Just bring it down a notch, only a couple degrees. Another set of waves coming here. Stay active with your shoulders out. Good. That was a big one, so we want to just, you know, crack off a little bit, bow down just a touch, and then once you get through it, trim back up and get on point. Good, now it's flattening out, so you can get right back into the mode. And then like every, you know, 10 or so seconds, just look back at your boom real quick, glance and make sure that we're over, we're trimmed right, okay? Awesome, girl, awesome. Hey, y'all. All right, our pressure is back down to about four, five knots. Hips got to go in, depending on the size of the kid, size of the sailor. Really focusing on our telltales right now and our, where our trim is and how the boat feels. Good form, drop knee. Left hip is up against the bulkhead. Weight, four and a half, looks great. Yep, just real small turns to keep that outside telltale flowing, okay? Keep that inside one from lifting. We wanna keep that flow as good as we can, okay? So we're gonna start spending, you know, a lot more time looking at those telltales and just occasionally glance in front of you to keep an eye on, uh, on the chop, okay? So we know where to steer, whether it's gonna be footing off mode or we're gonna be back into that second gear. Okay, you're pinching. Good. Okay, I can see a little bit of pressure coming. Okay, some chop, go ahead and foot off a little bit. There you go, open it up, nice. Okay, once you feel like you're going pretty fast, just hold that mode for a little bit, stay focused on those telltales. Once you feel you're up to speed and you got a little bit more flatter water, just a click in, slight click in and head up. 
long as you're not getting a righty. There you go. Keep the speed. There we go. We got Miles distributing his weight forward, legs spread out across the cockpit since he doesn't really need to use a lot of shoulders right now. Trying to get him to focus on his telltales 90% of the time here, just to know where to drive subtly. And the rest is just trim. Okay, try heading up just a touch, Miles, just a little bit. That's it, right there. After you steer a little bit, you kind of have to wait for the breeze to, to react to the sail, okay? It doesn't happen immediately in this light stuff. So that's why we want to be really soft on the rudder and just make our heading up and heading down super smooth and not use a lot of rudder, okay? Watch your sail telltales. Like I said, it's hard in this light stuff because you got to focus so much on your telltales to keep your speed. Okay, ease just a little bit. When that telltale is uh, the outside one's kicking like that, ease. And if the breeze stays up, then you can trim back in. Once you're at speed, up to speed. Okay, don't pinch. There you go. That's good. You got some pressure. Okay, this is in kind of in a deep gear. It's tough to get the uh, window attached to the sail. You really get those telltales streaming back. That's gravity. This is where the uh, the ribbon telltales kind of work a little bit better than the yarn. But. Ribbon telltales end up sticking to the sail when they get a little bit wet. Good, now you're starting to build some speed, so just a one click at a time on the main sheet. Okay, go ahead and start trimming. You're up to speed, you're in a deep gear. Head up just a touch. There you go. Good. Excellent. That's the kind of smooth steering we want to see in this light stuff. No choppy movements with the rudder. We just guide the rudder nice and smooth. Same thing with the main sheet. No rapid pulls. No jerky pulls on the main sheet. This is all about keeping the flow attached to the sail here. All right, let's try just heading up a little bit slowly. See if you can get that backside telltale to kick straight back. Keep going. A little bit more. There you go, right there. Right there. Let the wind catch up now on the sail. Very delicate. Okay, once you feel like the boat is up to speed, you can try a click at a time on the main sheet. But we don't want to go over the corner right now. We want to keep it just outside. So just glance every once in a while. Get back on the telltales. Milu. All right, girl, what I want you to do is try to get yourself a little bit further away from the boom, but keep your weight forward. There you go, keep it smooth. All right, I'll just remind you. Good, that's great on the trim. Maybe bring your shoulders out just a little bit. There you go, so you can keep an eye on those telltales. Like I said, we're gonna do about 90% of our time is gonna be on those telltales in this light stuff. Remember, we're not gonna move the rudder from center 
more than a you know an inch at a time and we want to make that as smooth as we can same thing with your main sheet no more than a click at a time no more than a you know easing about an inch at a time okay yep telltales and chop Good trim, just outside the corner. This might be a time we may need to ease our vang just a little bit. If you can do it and focus on your telltales, that's even better. Good, yeah, we just want the vang hand tight here, just to take the bounce out of the boom. Pull it out of the cleat and then just put it right back in. And then you can head up a little bit. Okay, make it smooth. I'm okay with the softer spread, just a slight wrinkle there. That's good, keeps it deep, keeps it powered up. All right, and then get right back into that mode of looking at the telltales. Smooth steering, smooth trimming. Try to slide your hips in a little bit. Don't look at me when I'm talking, okay? Focus on your telltales. So much energy right now needs to be placed in focus on your telltales, okay? Foot off a little bit. Ease just a touch. There you go, let's get up to speed. You got a pressure line coming. We got a foot off to get to it and then we're gonna slowly trim and slowly head up once we get the speed, okay? There you go, focus on those telltales. So everything is in slow motion here, okay? As far as our movements, what's going on around us. Head down a little bit, you're a little tight. There you go. If your telltale starts going wild on the outside, go ahead and ease just a touch. Ease just a touch. There you go, it'll start streaming back. Get up to speed and then a couple clicks in. Or a click in, I should say. But make it smooth. We don't wanna disrupt the sail with our trimming, okay? We want that to be very fluid and very slow. Good, can you get your hips a little farther forward in the boat? Just move slowly. Stay focused on those telltales. Your forward hip, your left side of your hip should be right up against the bulkhead, okay? Keep the pitch of the boat just right. Keep all your way towards that daggerboard trunk. Three, two, one! Very good form. Why?
You're a hunter. That's good. Going by the lee. Going really fast too. All right, Miley, when you have pressure, just kind of bring it down a little bit. You want that wind indicator coming right at you, okay? There you go, knees forward, do the rest with your shoulders. Foot off a little bit. There you go. Hand on the main sheet here. You've got some pressure you can work with the sheet, okay? Are you holding the main sheet? Now you are. Yeah, hold on to that main sheet, okay? Don't hold the rail. Your balance comes from your upper body, your shoulders. If your knees are pointed forward, you have your weight consolidated on the rail, you can do everything with your shoulders. If you're starting to feel a little bouncy, back and forth, a little unstable, we may need a little bit of vang, but your vang looks fine right now. Okay, just do the rest with your shoulders and don't try to cant the boat too hard to windward. We don't need to have the whole half the boat out of the water. It's fast, but the second you start getting unstable, you start using too much rudder and we're disrupting the sail flow. Look at the pressure behind you, who's covering you. Take a look at where your wind indicator's pointing. If there's a boat sitting on you in that direction, 